afternoon. This is Julie from Sterling Insurance Group. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. I'm here with Andy and Brad, and we are here to answer some more coronavirus questions. So Andy, I have a question for you. I have a couple questions actually for you. Is there anything that carriers are doing to help struggling small businesses during the situation? And then can the carrier help with any payment options? Uh, yeah, carriers right now are uh, aware of the situation and are offering some relief programs. Um, some of the relief programs we've been seeing uh, recently in the last couple weeks are uh, one of the big ones has to do with the restaurant and uh, bar industry because they're getting hit really hard right now, losing a ton of revenue. So they're doing anything they can to try to build uh, revenue. One of the things that a lot of these restaurants didn't have in place before was any delivery. Uh, a lot of them are doing curbside pickup right now, but they are trying to offer delivery. So one of the things the uh, carriers have been doing is offering a temporary delivery coverage for when, you know, for the shutdown. And they're also offering hired and non-owned auto on the policy if it wasn't already there for no extra cost. Now, it's very important that you contact your agent to find out if your carrier is doing that. Uh, each carrier is doing something different, so it'd be really important to make sure that you have the hired and non-owned on the policy, and uh, your agent will be able to handle that. Uh, one of the other things that we're seeing uh, has to do with renewals and audits. Uh, they're offering a lot of video audits right now, or even audits over the phone, since we can't do anything in person. Um, if, for example, you uh, recently had a large audit due to the fact that your sales were up or you had higher payroll and you have an audit bill due, they're offering time on that, you know, maybe 60 days out. We're in a fluid situation, so this is ever changing. So it's very important to contact your agent to see if that's something they can do. Uh, also, when it comes to maybe one of those audits. If you've had a large audit recently, um, a majority of the time what happens is, is that at your renewal, they're going to add those numbers onto your new renewal. So right now what they're doing is kind of holding those, uh, those larger numbers off your renewal to keep your payroll and sales down for the time being. Uh, uh, another neat thing that we're seeing is uh, some virtual claims services. Uh, the Insurance industry has been set up. A lot of these people, a lot of the carriers already work from home, so they're very familiar with the technology. So if you do have a uh, claim, it can be handled that way. Um, we are seeing some premium refunds on uh, commercial auto policies uh, due to the fact that you're not using your, your auto uh, right now. Uh, other things that carriers are doing, uh, they're extending the cancellation uh, for non-payment uh, at 60 days I'm seeing on a lot of our carriers. Uh, remember, you got to contact your agent to see what the carrier is doing because some carriers might not be offering it and other carriers are. Um, and then on the renewals, uh, if you were set for maybe a non-renewal due to some housekeeping or something that needed to be done to the property, and you're unable to find a contractor at this time to do the work, they are holding off on those uh, cancellations for non-renewal for those type of things. Uh, one more thing I'd like to mention is, is that we have a great uh, email campaign right now. And uh, Julie has been going through the internet every day trying to find out the most pertinent information that's available for your business. So if you'd like to be added to that email campaign, if you're not already on it, please just comment below and Julie would be more than happy to add you. Yes, thank you. And I would be more than happy to add you guys. And Brad, so the question I have for you is if any employee has already met their deductible for the year and gets laid off, does that apply to coverage they may get on their own? Thanks so much. Uh, this is a really common question that we're getting. Uh, the, the short answer in most cases is no. Um, you do have the option of calling the 800 number on the back of your card. You could request a potential conversion of your group plan to an individual plan. It is uh, fairly uh, uh, rare, but it's worth checking. Uh, for those of you that are unsure, 
uh, I would always also encourage you to check your explanation of benefits. So either pull up the app on your phone or log in online and pull the most recent explanation of benefits. And this will tell you how much of your deductible has been met. Uh, if there is the ability for a deductible credit, just remember in most cases, in, in almost every case, that is solely for the deductible. So that means that any coinsurance that has been met does not also roll over, nor does any co-pays that were paid on the office visit RX. So it's exclusively the deductible. For these situations, what we have found, the majority of cases, if you have hit or, or maximized a large portion of your deductible, it could make the most sense to stay with the COBRA through the rest of that plan year until the, the, the deductibles reset. If you have not hit a large portion, portion of your deductible, then you have the complete freedom of going out to the marketplace, going in, in, into an individual plan and not having to worry about that. But that is an excellent question that we are fielding almost daily. Okay, thank you. Thank you both so much for joining me for answering these questions. And like they said, if you do have any um, questions, just comment below. And then if you would like to join our email campaign, again, comment your email below and I will definitely get you added. I hope everybody has a great day and they're staying safe. Thank you. Thank you.